So we all lead busy lives these days and the trouble with busyness is you can really forget about the important stuff, the little details, the little, um, the little moments which in many respects make it all worthwhile and they all add up. So I've been thinking about trying to give you a better insight as to what I do as an antique dealer or as I like to say a furniture rehomer and, and all of the different dimensions you know and the different parts of, of life that as I do this um, this work or the stuff that I'm passionate about how it um, yeah, different people's lives touch what I do and, and vice versa. So because I've always, uh, you know, it's always been busy, there's always a lot going on, I thought what better time to have this chat than in, in the, uh, the van going down to the creative cottage. So I'm going to try and do this on a regular basis, not necessarily in the van all the time, but today I thought there's no time like the present, let's just get in and do it. So that's what I'm doing. So when I say, you know, the way the work I do touches people's lives, you know, when you're dealing with um, people's you know, furniture, their treasures, you're dealing with things which in many instances has lifelong memories for people. You know, when we go out and we buy those special pieces of furniture, we do it with um, you know, a particular intent. We do it trying to find something special to fill that special place in our homes. And then it sort of uh, gets woven into the fabric of home life. You know, the family use it. You know, if it's a dining room table, for example, you know, the, the family conversations unfold on and around that table. So it, it really does become something very special. So when the time comes, you know, for someone to say, okay, it's time for me to move the furniture on, my life, my life circumstances have changed, it's time for me to move out of the family home, into, um, you know, downsizing into a retirement village, or, you know, I'm just moving house, or whatever the life circumstance is, you know, it, it can bring up a whole range of emotions for people about, well, what do I do with these pieces of furniture that no longer fit in my life? And that's where I sort of see myself having a, an important role in, as a facilitator, if you like, trying to um, help people uh, move their furniture on and move their effects on, but do it in a way which is done with integrity. So it's not just a case of throw it out and on with the next chapter. But really, um, giving some dignity, better stop for the cyclists, uh, giving some dignity to, um, and recognition to what has been done in uh, people's lives, the role of furniture has, has played in the family home, and, and really looking at things, um, you know, from the seller's perspective, with a whole lot more dignity and integrity. From the buyer's perspective, well, the same sorts of things apply. You know, people are looking for that something very special for their life, for their home, and um, you know, it's something that needs to be done with a bit of care and consideration. The role I like to play is, um, you know, providing people with honest advice. Um, you know, giving them an insight as to well, what is something worth in the marketplace? What are the considerations you need to think about? when you're um, either buying or selling um, used pieces of furniture and um, really helping people make those decisions, you know, uh, from a position of uh, information and understanding. So I'm going to do this on a regular basis to try and um, help sort of flesh out a lot of those points and also to give you a bit more of an insight as to uh, what I do and uh, what happens um, in a day-to-day -day basis in the antique dealership uh, 
uh, area. Okay, until next time, uh, signing off.